Judgment Day is approaching. Where do you stand? This is Prophecy Watch, August 27th, 2008. We've entered into the time of the end, and Judgment Day is coming quickly. Do we stand with Yahweh, or do we stand with men? Judgment Day is coming. Where do you stand? Christ said, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of Yahweh, but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Christ also replied, Why do you break the command of God for the sake of your tradition? Will it be God's commands or man's traditions? Yahweh said in the fourth commandment, Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to Yahweh your God. On it you shall not do any work, for in six days Yahweh made the heavens and the earth and the sea and all that is in them. But he rested on the seventh day. Therefore Yahweh blessed the Sabbath and made it holy. Do we keep Yahweh's command, the seventh day, Sabbath, or man's tradition, Sunday? Some people think that the Bible actually speaks about getting together on Sunday, but here's the only thing it says about meeting on the first day of the week. After the Feast of Unleavened Bread, that's one of the feasts of Yahweh, on the first day of the week, Sunday, we came together to break bread. Paul spoke to the people and because he intended to leave the next day, kept on talking until midnight. Now as we interpret scripture, there are some things that are prescriptive, things we're supposed to do, and some things that are descriptive, things that happen. This passage is descriptive. Here's something else Yahweh, the Father in heaven, told his people to do. He said, be careful to do everything I have said to you. Three times a year, celebrate a festival to me. Celebrate the feast of unleavened bread for the seven days. Eat bread made without yeast. Celebrate the Feast of Harvest with the first fruits of your crop that you sow in your field. Celebrate the Feast of Ingathering at the end of the year when you gather your crops. Three times a year all men are to appear before the Sovereign Yahweh. Three times a year. So in Yahweh's commands he says three times a year all men are to appear before the Sovereign Yahweh. This is recorded in Exodus 23. This is the Feast of Unleavened Bread the Feast of Harvest, and finally the Feast of Ingathering. Man's tradition says two times a year be appear before God, Christmas and Easter. You can't find Christmas and Easter in the Bible. These are clearly traditions of men. Do some research, you'll see what I mean. So we've looked at the fourth commandment of the Ten Commandments about the Sabbath and keeping the Sabbath holy. And we've looked at the Feast of God that he expects his people to celebrate every year and we've compared it to those of the traditions of men. Christ said, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of Yahweh, but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Christ also replied, Why do you break the command of God for the sake of your tradition? Tradition? Judgment Day is coming. Where do you stand? Who's your daddy? The Father in heaven relates to the commands of Yahweh. Father on earth relates to the traditions of men. So do you follow the commands of Yahweh or the traditions of men? God says, stand firm because the Lord's coming is near. As we've seen, the signs of the time of the end have begun and judgment day, the day of the Lord is rapidly approaching. What should we be doing? Oh, many people have lots of different theories about what you should be doing, but clearly the most important thing according to Yahweh and the Word of God is to abide in the Word of God and to be obedient to everything that He has commanded us and not to follow the traditions and teachings of men.